And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with the Game Boy Geek. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Let's let your imagination take you for a spin today. Let's take three random words like gorilla, bed, and uh, motorcycle. And the scenario is you're late for work and you have to explain to your boss when you get there why you're late. And in that explanation, you've got to use those three random words, the gorilla, the bed, and the motorcycle. That's what you're doing in Spinergy. It's a party game, two or more players, ages 15 and up. It has a lot of fun. Let's take it out, check out what the components look like, and I'll let you know what I think after I show you how to play. In Spinergy, you're using this spin wheel to figure out what words you're going to have to use to build and create a scenario. So let's take a closer look at the spin wheel itself. Now as you look in here, we zoom in here, we see just random words. So someone, when it's their turn, they would spin each wheel. And this says socks. The arrow's pointing to socks. And socks goes up and kind of goes in between pickled and harpoon. And when it does that, you can pick either one. So let's say socks and harpoon, and harpoon goes to water polo. So, socks, harpoon, and water polo. That's what would be used in our scenario card. So let's take a look at some of the scenario cards. So here's a look at a uh, scenario card. This one's worth two points, and everybody in the game, except the person who did the spinning, would have to do this scenario. Sign here. You're a little eccentric and have too much time on your hands. Describe the content of a petition you're trying to get other neighbors to sign. Now there's a timer. The timer would start. The timer's only like 30 seconds long. Although we typically flip it over a second time because it's just really hard if you don't. And you have to come up with, and you have a paper and pen, and you're trying to figure out and write a scenario with this. But you have to use the words that were spun. In this case, socks, harpoon, and water polo. And you might write one that says, Oh, I saw these neighbors. They, they've got uh, water polo people playing, and they're, they're making them play socks, and then they're harpooning them. I think this is just horrible and I think it needs to end and I need your signature or something like that. So you're coming up with these creative things to do. Now in the meantime the person who spun gets to do something special. Let's check that out. Now while everybody else is writing down, for every player that's writing down, let's say there's three players that are writing down that did not spin but they're the ones writing the scenario. So let's say there's three players. The person who spun has three words that he or she thinks that any of those people are going to use. And he's a, these are words that you cannot use, you know, because these are used very often. So, you know, pronouns and things like that. So here's a list of words that you can't use. But if they said socks and water polo and harpoon, I might write things down like ball or, uh, you know, uh, sport or, you know, dangerous or something like that, thinking that they might use one of those words. Now, once everybody's done, if everybody, every person that got through it and reads it and got through the scenario gets the two points in this case, for any person that was writing and this person who spun guessed a word that they wrote, they get, they get to steal their two points. So it's huge. If you're the spinner and you can guess, you can really steal some of the points. Well, let's take a look at some of the other scenario cards. Here's three points. One word description. Create a one word description of, of your three words. You must use an existing word. Explain your choice. That one's tough. And another three. Cross my heart. You're the charter member of your very own secret club. What is your three-part oath that must be taken to become a member? Ooh, it's a tough one. It's a five-pointer. Metaphorically speaking, create a metaphor. Figure a speech in which a word or phrase is used in place of another word to suggest likeness between them. For example, it's raining cats and dogs. That one's really hard. That's why it's five points. Fictionary. Create a new word and make up its definition. Now remember, you you have to use one of each of the three words that were spun. Armageddon. The world is on, on the verge of ultimate destruction. You are the key to its survival. What is happening and how will you thwart it? So you can see there's all these crazy scenarios that come up. Now let's take one last look at the spinner and see all the different combinations that may come up. Okay, so as we look at this, you can see all these different words in it. Amnesia, Sunrise, Wish, Zoo, Crib. 
tunnel, salad, morning, seven, tornado, and they're just as random out here. Overslept, scientist, prom, home run, shower, over here, a haystack, kitchenette, specialist, pants. And so every time you play this, it's different. I love that about this because this is rescue, whisper, and shampoo. So in any of those scenarios, you'd have to use the words rescue, whisper, and shampoo. And the cool thing is even on the same scenario, you could literally spin this again and get three different words like nervous, cowgirl, and non-dairy. Oh, that would be a cool one. And so, you know, between the scenario cards and the spinners, the replay value is great in this, and it's just a lot of fun. The way you win is after th three times through all the people where everyone has been the spinner three times, the game's over, and the one with the most points wins. All right, well, there's Spinergy. So what do I think about it? I love it. This is probably only my favorite party game that I have. It's probably the best party game you've never heard of. It is from a smaller publisher, New Games, GNU Games. Now, I love this game because it's two or more players. You can get together with two people and play this game, and it's still fun because you're coming up with crazy, funny stories. And when you get more people, it's even more fun. Listening to everybody's different interpretation on the same scenario in the same three parts is amazing. You get so different results from every person depending on their style. I love how there's easy cards that are two points all the way up to really hard cards that are like five points. Some of them you, you have to think of a song which are kind of tough and the other ones are just you know easier. I love how it scales the difficulty there. I also love that when you're the person that's not writing things down, you have that one person who's trying to think of words that the other people are going to put into their story. It gives them something interesting and different to do so when it becomes your turn the game's different. So you really have two different sides to the story. I love that about it. I also love that not only is the game scalable, but the time frame that it's played in is also scalable. Hey, if you've got 10 people, you play one round through all the way, you're probably tired at the end of the 10, 10 people. But if you're playing like two or three or four people, maybe you do two or three rounds. You just play until you're pretty much tired of playing it. So it's one of those games where you can pick up, you can play a quick short game with two people, you can play a long game with a lot of people. It scales really well, it's a lot of fun, you're gonna be laughing your butt off and the wheel, when you spin those wheels, I've played this game tons of times, and I've never gotten the same exact uh, three random words twice. There are some expansion uh, packs for this, but I've never needed it because the, the words are so random, there's so many of them, and even if you got the same words, you have a different scenario, so everything has changed. I love that, it has huge replayability value because there's so many different words, they're all intermingled at different times, and you have all these different scenarios. Must buy. If you like party games, and you like creative, and you have good creative friends, go out and get this game. I've also used this game in corporate uh, settings with some of my coworkers for team building. It's been a fun thing like that, too. So go off and get Spinergy. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. <coughs>